Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So in this episode, I want to talk to you about intentions, because intentions sit behind everything that we do. We, it's the way that we come at something, it's the thoughts we have about something as we go into it. So for example, if I decide to have a discussion with someone or a chat with someone, who I'm, my intention behind that chat could be many different things. My intention could be to connect with the person I'm chatting with, to build a stronger relationship, to get to know them. My intention could be to suss them out and to find their weaknesses. My intention might be to find out what they know um, and use it for my own gain. So there's, I mean, I'm just touching on three different intentions there, but there are so many intentions behind that. Even things like I recently did a Learn to Row um, course. And my intention behind that was that I'd kind of seen a movie and someone rowing in a movie and it was early morning and it just looked so incredibly peaceful and almost freeing that my intention in learning to row was to master that so that I would then have the freedom to go out on a river on my own at some point. And that was my intention behind it. But some people's intentions are to meet people, to connect, to socialise, to network. Other people's intentions are to get fit um, and to find a pleasurable way of doing it. Some other people's intentions is to compete, to prove that they are strong and worthy and maybe the best. So you can see that our intention behind our actions flavours how one, we experience whatever it is that we're engaging with, but also it flavours how other people receive that. So if someone's intention is to network and socialise, they'll be interested in making connections and talking to lots of people. So people that receive that will receive that very differently than somebody that's there to compete, who's there to be better than others. And you can see how one person might end up connecting and, and getting to know lots of people, where the other person, unless they are very sort of nuanced about it, might find that they actually alienate people if they're there with the intention of being the best. And I'm sharing this because you can't really hide your intentions. It's a bit like, um, I suppose the analogy I can think of is when you ride a horse. <laughs> if you've ever done it very well, or if you've ever had many lessons, um, I know that when I was learning to jump, my instructor used to say to me, you have to look where you want to go. Because if you don't look where you want to go, your horse will follow where you're looking. So if you're going towards a jump and you're looking at the next jump or the next jump or looking somewhere else entirely, your horse will not be going in the right direction. And the other thing as well when you're horse riding is that as you land on that jump, you have to look to the next jump. And the reason for this is as you look, your whole body changes how it sits on the horse and it directs the horse even without you knowing it. And the same is true in life of intentions, that your intentions drive your actions. They shift how you smile, how you engage, how you hold yourself, the conversations you have, how you listen to somebody else, how you... I suppose are defensive, all of those things come from your intention. And you can't hide those things. Most people don't necessarily think about somebody's intention. It's not something that we are trained or taught to look for. However, subconsciously, we're generally aware of these things. It's why we're drawn to some people and repelled by others, which also ties into our belief, but that's going to be way too complicated for this particular episode. Our intentions can also colour how we engage in things because quite often we don't actually think about our intentions before we do things. So for instance if you're studying and your intention is to get this course done, how you engage in it will be very different to your intention being to learn as much as you possibly can, to be the best that you possibly can. And I'm sharing this because you can change your intentions, you can choose your intentions, so before you engage in something, check in with yourself. See what your unconscious, your biased intention is. And then if you play it through and imagine yourself going into whatever it is you're going to do with that intention, imagine how people will respond to you. Imagine how successful or unsuccessful you will be with whatever it is that you're about to engage in. And then 
ask yourself what intention could you have that would change the outcome to be one that you really want. So choosing an intention that will benefit you more than your unconscious one. Choosing an intention that will help you to gain whatever it is you want from a situation, but what you really want consciously, not what you subconsciously be conditioned to do. So for instance, um, I've noted, um, I'm doing a course at the moment, but I've noted when I go into the classroom or when I engage with other students, that I have a subconscious drive to, to be good and to be acknowledged for being good. What I've realised though, is this subconscious drive of mine to be good and to be seen to be good, it means that I'm not always listening when I should be listening. I'm not always observing and taking in as much as I really want. So I'm going to change my intention for this particular course. What I'm going to do instead is I am going to go into it now with the intention of being the best that I can be. Not so that I have to be acknowledged as being the best, not so that anyone else needs to see me as being the best. Being the best that I can be so that I can get the most that I possibly can out of this course that I'm doing. Because I've paid my own money to do it, I'm very excited about it, and I'm actually really interested in it. But I don't want those subconscious intentions, those subconscious beliefs to drive my experience of it. So I'm choosing my intention. I'm choosing the intention I know that will set me up to get what I really want to get from it, rather than sabotaging myself by letting my unconscious programs and beliefs ride me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you get something out of it and it makes something go aha for you. If you want to know more about what I do, all the links are in the show notes below. Links to my website where you can connect with me if you're interested in coaching, links to my online courses and um, links to my monthly Ho'oponopono session. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.